Yes, season six, the final season of Superstore. It feels impossible. Uh, it is so bizarre. I mean, it's my first time sitting, doing one of these in the suit. First time and last time, very sadly. Um, what a journey we've all been on for the past six years. Uh, it's, it's hard to even begin to try and encapsulate what the last six years have been, what just this season has been. Um, coming out of COVID, working through COVID, uh, you know, America leaving the show. Uh, it's just been, you know, us coming into our own, Dina being made manager. It's, there's so much happening. And obviously also celebrating the 100th episode, celebrating the accomplishment of the show, um, and also mourning the loss uh, of the show. Not getting to see everybody, knowing uh, that we're not gonna get to see everybody every day uh, once filming this last episode is over is a tough pill to swallow. So it's a, it's a very tumultuous time for old Ash. Very emotional, I gotta say. I was recently looking at some of the footage from the pilot and it was wild to look at even physically how far Dina has come and, and that look that we started in, which was literally no makeup. They would put foundation on me, uh, mascara and powder, and that was it, nothing else. And now obviously she has a more put together look. I've got a little lash, I've got a little blush, the hair is down. Um, and it's just, it's such a pleasure, it's such a joy to get to play her and to get to play her at every stage that we saw her in for the past six years. Okay, look, here's the truth. I grew up in a small town in Ontario, Canada. It gets very cold there. And my mother, bless her, she's going to kill me for telling this story. Growing up, here's the thing about when you live in the bitter, bitter, bitter cold of winter. You go from extreme cold to extreme heat quite often. So you're outside, it's cold, and then you go into a store and it's very hot. And so the cold to hot, the hot to cold, it's, it's uncomfortable at best. And my mother would insist on going into stores, Walmart, stores like that, and taking her coat off, but only one arm. So she would leave one arm in the winter coat, one arm out of the winter coat, so that the other arm, it, it, it wouldn't drag on the floor. It wasn't that long. It was just long enough that it almost touched the floor. Almost like a beautiful winter coat, wedding gown train, just following her as we walked around. And I remember being a little kid and being like, on or off, on or off. Mother, please, on or off. Um, some say scarring. I would say character building? Ooh, pro tips for shopping at a superstore. Well, the number one thing, and I also pulled this from my real life experience working at a Zeller's in Belleville, Ontario, Canada, when I was a teenager, thank you very much. Never assume that the employees know everything about every product. They are not paid enough to care, first of all, about your personal experience with every product, nor are they paid enough to know the ins and outs of how every product works. So for example, if you're talking to a housewares employee and you expect them to know the difference between some sort of Nespresso machine or a Mr. Coffee machine, they don't, they shouldn't have to, and you're a dick for assuming that they would. I mean, what will I miss most about Superstore? That's such a hard question because everything, you know, like every time I do interviews, I always feel like, oh, here I go. I'm getting, I, I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry during this one. It's the beginning. Here we, it's, you can feel it starting. It starts it's like in the back of my throat, comes up the back. Truly, the past six years has been such a joy and getting to come to work every day and seeing people who are genuinely, your, some of your very closest friends, and getting to create something that you're actually proud of and you get paid for it, it's, it's like beyond the dream, you know? It's the people, it's the people. It's, it's, it's my castmates, it's the crew, so many people we have had with us from day one on this show. You know, Maria DeSaro has done my hair since day one on the pilot of this show. It's, it's very strange to go from seeing the same people every single day from six o'clock in the morning till God knows what time in the evening to then all of a sudden knowing that tomorrow you're just never gonna see them in that context again. I mean, maybe, you know, but, but never in this context again. I mean, that is a, 
That's a, that's a tough thing. That's, I don't know how much time you have, but usually it would take me about an hour and it would probably require me giving you about $200. So maybe we can make another appointment to do this again? To the diehard Superstore fans, first of all, thank you. We could not have continued to make this show for as long as we did without you. If nobody watched the show, if nobody liked the show, there would be no purpose to continue creating the show. So doing this, again, I would have loved to have done it, but doing it in a bubble doesn't, isn't usually how these things work. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for your social media interactions with us, your tweets, your posts. Thank you for your positivity. Thank you for your anger about Amy and Jonah splitting up again. Thank you for all of, all of, all of it, meeting you in person. Thank you for always wanting to, um, pre-COVID, Stop me when you see me out and tell me how much you love the show. It, it truly is such a, it's such an amazing thing to do something that you're proud of and to do something that resonates with so many people. And so many people have reached out during COVID as well that have just found the show for the first time. They've binged it in a matter of days in some cases. And um, we're so glad that we had you along for the ride. Whether you've been with us for six years or you've been with us for six months or six days, we're so glad that you got to be a part of the Superstore world because it's very special to us and we're so glad it was just as special to you. First episode that comes to mind, Ladies Lunch, baby. That's such a classic. Loved getting out of the store in this capacity. Loved that it was all the women together. The karaoke, which is, of course, something that Lauren Ash in real life loves. Um, that was a really fun episode written by Vanessa Ramos, who, of course, is a dear friend of mine in real life as well. Now, of course, we met doing Superstore, directed by Todd Bierman, who is a very favorite director of ours on this show as well. It was just such a fun experience and getting to, to shoot those scenes uh, in the smokehouse. There you go. There's some fun, fun fact trivia if you uh, aren't a fan of IMDb, so haven't already looked up that trivia. Um, and a shout out to the late and great Linda Porter, who killed it in that episode. She played Myrtle on the show, and uh, I will never forget her describing <laughs> describing male parts uh, in that episode in a way that just is so funny. I can, I can hear her voice in my head now. What a gift, truly.